Hi, my name is Venusha. I sing, I speak, and I coach. And welcome to an episode of Talks and Growth. This is a space for personal development, for inspiration, and just discussions around life-centered topics. Today, we are going to talk about how to deal with change. If you want to find out more, get more updates about me, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to find out as soon as I post something. So, how to deal with change. Needless to say, it's been almost two years now. We are going through um, very interesting times of constant change. And for many people that have been used to a life of routine, a life of stability, this, these two years have been extremely destabilizing. And particularly this past week, with the obvious news of what is happening between Russia and Ukraine, it is really difficult for everyone because um, going from the principle of um, interconnectivity, for all of us in this world, we are all affected in one way or the other. And we don't know what to expect. There is some, there is some concern about how things are going to look like in, in a week, in a month the next year and more than ever it has become extremely important to really um, shift our approach to change so I have five tips that have generally worked for me and since I can only talk to you about what I know has worked for me because it's you can't really talk about what you just know by theory but what you've experienced so I'll start by saying you will benefit a lot, number one, from ditching the idea of ever getting back to stability. This is an absolute dream. It is not realistic. I, um, the only reason why I'm sane today is because I actually accepted the idea of not really knowing what awaits in the next three months. That sounds crazy, but really, this has saved me a lot of trouble. So you really need to ditch that idea of stability because the only constant thing is change, like they say. So shift your thinking according to that. Now, the next thing you need to do, which is extremely hard, is to stay thankful no matter what the circumstance is. Yes. How do you do? How do you do that when you've lost someone? How do you do that when you're, you've lost your job, you don't know how to, you're going to pay your rent? How do you do that when the world is absolutely upside down? Believe it or not, in every situation, there is something positive we can take from it. I mean, I'll take, I'll take the, the extreme example of, of the loss of someone. That is absolutely devastating. But at the same time, what has worked for me was to um, look back to the, the moments, the, the precious moments that were spent with, um, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a lost loved one and think back to it in a thankful way. Think back to the, to the positive things that we, that we learned from that lost person. Um, think back to um, the, the the blessing that it has been to actually know that person. This this is just an example in such a in such an extreme case. Um, being thankful in all circumstances will really protect you from bitterness. And um, as much as it sounds difficult and maybe unrealistic, I can only stress on that fact. Be thankful no matter what. So the next point, create a self-care routine. Um, it could be physical, kind of like taking care of your skin for the ladies, for the for the guys too. I mean, guys have upgraded their game these days. So fair. Shout out to the men. Um, but I'm I'm speaking more about mental self-care routine. What are you doing to take care of your sanity? Things like. Um, some me time in the nature you take a walk in the morning or sometime sometime during the day 
You take some fresh air. You call that special someone. You you run a bath, okay? You you watch your favorite sitcom. It could be it could be anything that makes you happy. That that brings you to a, a peaceful space. Um, look more into that. C create your safe space. Make your home your safe space. If you're at a stage in your life where where you're living is very temporary, even if it's, it's temporary, try to make it comfortable. Put up plants, right? Uh, coordinate colors. I, I have a thing for colors. Um, I, I, like, I like contrasts. One of my happiest times um, from all the companies I've worked for in the past, my happiest time was working at Lego in Slough, United Kingdom. Listen, the offices were so colorful and it, it just does something. So do, do something to take care of your mind, to, to unplug yourself from the craziness. Okay, so next point. You need to figure out every day. Okay, that, that's ideally, but regularly figure out how you're going to be a blessing in someone's life. I'll give you an example. It could be that student that you know that is struggling financially. Do grocery shopping for them. It could be that you're driving down the streets and you see an elderly person struggling. Stop and find out how that person um, can be helped. Um, find out, look out for someone else's need, um, someone else's problem to solve. That will help you forget the craze around you and it will make you feel good it will make you feel valuable and that is also uh, another way of taking care of your mind okay. going back to the to the point I just enunciated so now the last point you need an anchor let me explain myself an anchor is a chain that um, that is connected to that connects a ship to to solid ground under the sea and the purpose is to maintain stability no matter what the weather is like so this is kind of like a parable kind of de uh, description now let's take you you're the ship and the weather is crazy right now what's your anchor your anchor one thing it cannot be some things it cannot be is for example your anchor cannot be a person <laughs> your anchor cannot be a person people change Enjoy. go away from this earth so if your anchor is a person you're you're not you're you're not set out for stability your anchor cannot be anything um, recreational like drugs it can be food. It can be. It can be anything that settles your calmness temporarily. Obviously, your anchor cannot be a place. Obviously, because we things things move, um, circumstances change. Um, you need something solid. You need a rock kind of element in your life, which is going to be a belief is going to be a fact that is absolutely unchanged no matter what the circumstance is. Figure out what that anchor is for yourself. For me, it's Christian faith. So I'll end it right there. So let us let me know um, how you're going through these changes, how things are going for you. I, I really, really, really love your comments. I hope you're doing fine. If you like what you heard, comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'm looking forward to meeting you once again in a few days with that being said you have a wonderful week and no matter what change comes your way i i pray that you stand strong and set steadfast you have a nice time bye bye